The 2000 Nissan Pathfinder has a, the steering rack boot is busted. And you need to replace that so dirt and grit don't get on that and destroy the seal up in there, right? On the rack itself, that will cause the fluid to start leaking in that area. So we're gonna replace the boot on the right side and the left side to do that. Jack your car up, make sure you put jack stands underneath it. Right, you can jack it up if you have a flow jack from the cross member that runs across the bottom here in the front. And I'll pick up both sides, then you can set it up on jack stands underneath the sides of the car. Find the most firm area there. You'll put your jack stands. And then, once you got that, take the wheel off. Put the wheel off. Turn, if you got, I'm doing the right side, so I'm going to turn the wheel all the way to the right. And then... What I'm gonna do then is loosen this nut, this castle nut. The castle nut has a cotter pin running through it. What I did to get the castle nut off, I mean the cotter pin off, on the end that's folded, not the ends that's bent over. The U part of the castle nut, I take, took a pair of uh, uh, wire cutters, grabbed onto it, like I said, this part is sticking out here through the castle nut. I grabbed onto it and just pried against the knuckle and it came out. There's a special tool you can buy, look something like a pick with a hook on it. You can stick through the hole in the castle nut and you know, get it out, of, out that way. But you have to straighten this end because the ends of it have turned over to lock it so it won't come out. Okay, once you get that out, use a 22 millimeter socket or a 716 socket. In this case, I'm gonna use a wrench just in case someone have wrenches but no sockets. Uh, you can place that on there, okay? And if you turn it, you need to turn it, you're kind of working like upside down. So you would need to turn it uh, clockwise, right? If you're sitting down in a chair, you turn it clockwise to loosen it. The clock goes this way if you're looking down on the clock, so you turn it that way. If you want to tighten it, you turn it counterclockwise. Now, what I'm going to, I've already loosened this. What I did to loosen this, I put that 22 millimeter wrench on and I tried pulling on it, it didn't work. Not enough leverage. A little trick you can do is take another a combination wrench, stick it in this way to give you more leverage. Hold this firmly and pull onto that and you will get more leverage. More, the longer it is, the more torque you apply. So once this is loose, loosen, I will turn it loose a little bit, right? And this um, tie rod end was locked into here. I couldn't pull it out with a baby sledge, a decent sized hammer, you wanna hit right on this area. This area right here, leave the nut on because if you miss and hit the thread of the uh, tie rod end, you wouldn't be able to get this nut back on easily, okay? So leave it on and give it one or two good whacks. Make sure you don't hit the boot. So you don't split the boot. Once you whack it, this is gonna pop out. You'll notice it will set itself free like that. And then you can take the nut off. And this will come right out. Okay? Now, what you should do before you take that out is loosen this nut. This is the lock nut, right? That locks in, uh, the tie rod in, so this rod won't spin because if you don't lock it in, this rod over time will start rotating and then your alignment will go out of adjustment. Now, before loosening this nut, so you don't have to realign this vehicle, you can count threads, see how many threads are visible from the back of the nut to the end of the thread, or what I did, I took a sharp, 
Uh, you can use a um, punch and just scribe a line along here, right? That line isn't very deep. You can see it easily on the video. I don't know if you can see that line. There's different shading right up in here. Or you can take, what I would do is take a piece of electrical tape of some type of tape and wrap it around, close up um, to the nut. And hopefully, I like to do both because if you want to do it one way, if I want to wrap the tape around, it's likely that when I'm sliding that boot on or off, that that tape might shift. Okay? So bring it right up to the nut and wrap it around. So you know when you put your nut on where to stop. So now with this out, I can remove the tie rod end. If you have problem removing the tie rod end, if, if it's rusted or something, you might have to lock this part up and there's this uh, hex right here where you can put a wrench on it, okay? If you don't have a hex, get a decent vice grip, lock it on, hold it, or a pipe wrench or something, and take this off, okay? With this off, then you can remove the nut. Now, in putting this back together, I will loop up the threads. So if I have to do this again, I won't have a problem uh, working with that. Now, what I'm having now, I'm trying to take this off, and everything is turning. Okay, so I will have to lock this up. All right? Okay, I sprayed a little WD-40 on here so it will come up a little easily. And it's working off. It's still the same 22 uh, millimeter wrench or a 7 8 you can use for this, for this nut. Now, it depends on whether it's the original or the aftermarket. You might have different size nuts on here. I believe this lock... This hex here is 14 millimeter. I just use a, an adjustable wrench uh, on this area so I wouldn't have to get up and go and get another wrench. So I already had this adjustable here. Okay, with the nut on, with the nut off, I'm gonna try and slide this boot off. All right, I sprayed the rod down with a little WD-40 to make it a little easier to slide off. The tape is still on here. You can see the rust of where the nut was up to here. All right, so now I'm going to slide the boot off and I uh, depress the clamp on here. Squeeze that. and try and get this off. The clamp is kind of stuck on there. I'm gonna break it off because the new boot came with new clamp, all right? Okay, I've destroyed, I've um, gotten the clamp off. Uh, like I said, since I'm, we're gonna put a new clamping system on here, I don't need the old clamp. And it's easier to just break it off than to go through the trouble uh, and that was giving me to get off. And plus, I didn't want the clamp on here as I slide it over to disturb the, the, the tape. You can, as you can see, the tape is already beginning to unravel, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is with a razor blade, I'm gonna split this boot right here. Make it a little easier to, to come off without disturbing the tape. Let's take a screwdriver up in here and see if I can make it a bigger hole. Okay, got it off.
as you can see. The smaller section of the boot that clamps onto the rack itself is still on the vehicle. Now I have to go and remove the, that clamp and get that piece off before sliding this on. And as you can see, the, uh, the aftermarket one is a little, a little bit, I think it's a little bit smaller. It's not as big in, in diameter as the original one. This right here is the inner tie rod end. That screws into the rack, which is back here. Okay? And that also has a two flat sides, opposing flat sides that you can put a wrench on to turn to loosen it. Right now, I don't know what size wrench that is, but if you have a big adjustable wrench, you can use that on that to loosen that. If you're changing the whole tie rod in, adjust the inner tie rod in. Since we are not, we're leaving that in there and I'm just gonna do the boot.